like I don't understand why the players felt the need to make these silly comments and unprofessional comments. Although they are his teammates, it would be interesting to see how Mullen has reacted to seeing these clips on the documentary. We're here, we're back for yet another video on Rex FC. This one today is a bit different. Obviously, we've seen episodes three and four of the Welcome to Wrexham documentary, and we're going to be talking a bit about the star man, Paul Mullin. So before we get into the video, if there is any new viewers watching this video, go down there, subscribe to the channel for all the best Rex FC content. Make sure to click the bell so you are notified whenever I upload. So it's time we talk about the star man, Paul Mullin, and how his move to Wrexham came about. So we obviously did see it all started on a Zoom call with Rob, Ryan, Humphrey Kerr and Sean Harvey where they were just discussing and then Rob brought up that he'd seen hundreds of Wrexham fans on Twitter begging him and Ryan to sign the striker Paul Mullen. Obviously we do know at the time Mullen had just finished the top scorer in League 2 with 32 goals, breaking the goal scoring record and had just been promoted to League 1 with Cambridge United. There was obviously going to be talks of Mullen going into the higher leagues and stuff but Wrexham thought it was worth a shot at trying to get him. Obviously in response to Rob saying this, Humphrey Kerr and Sean Harvey said there wasn't much of a chance of us getting him and that realistically he will either be playing Championship or the higher end of League One in the 21-22 season. As you usually do, you obviously at least attempt to see about getting a player. Wrexham got on the phone to Mullins' agent and there was no surprise when he came back and said they were already in talks with a whole host of EFL clubs. For me, I'd probably guess around at least... 10 League One clubs, if not more, and possibly a few championship clubs. And then this is where I think the main breakthrough point in this potential transfer was. It was when either Rob or Ryan, they might have both got on the phone to Mullen, and I think that must have attracted him to come and play for X. Imagine if I got the phone call from Ryan Reynolds saying, can you come and play for my football club? You'll be the main hero. Like, surely that is incredibly hard to reject and I'm not surprised Mullin didn't reject it and obviously there is a lot more to this transfer than getting a phone call off Hollywood A-listers saying can you come and sign for us he had also said after he left Cambridge he wanted to move closer to home if you don't know it's Merseyside when he played for Tranmere obviously so Wrexham to Merseyside is obviously no distance at all maximum an hour and 20 so He's very close to home and if the wage was obviously equal to the one that he was at, at Cambridge United then it was a no-brainer to move to Wrexham with also the ambition the club has got to go that step further. Mullen did come out and say that money had nothing to do with him moving to Wrexham which it just shows he wants to be at a club where he's enjoying his football. He obviously puts family above money and popularity. So in a nutshell what I would sort of get from this transfer. I think Rob and Ryan had a huge role to play in this transfer. Don't forget Parkinson as well. I think obviously he must have pitched a good pitch to Mullin on where he wanted to take the club. And I just think the ambition the club has got, obviously with the takeover and just the history of the club, I think Mullin was definitely attracted by that. One thing I just finally do want to point out, if you haven't watched the documentary already, you will see this part but I don't want to spoil it too much. But for the people that have watched it, for me, it was a sort of a bit strange when the players acted in the way they did when they heard Mullin had signed and obviously the rumours of his wages and how high they were. Now, it might be banter amongst the players and stuff, but to me, it did look a tiny bit disrespectful. I think that's the good thing about this documentary. It sort of shows all the different parts in it, they're not just going to show the positives and everything that goes right. They are going to show these small bits that problems maybe with the players, obviously the end of the season when we lose out on promotion, lose the FA Trophy final, so it does show that. And like I said, it might have just been banned and it might have been solved, but to me it was, yeah, it was definitely a bit strange. It will be interesting to see how Mullen has reacted to them talking about him and talking about his wages on the documentary, will he obviously will he be angry at it? Not angry, but will he be disappointed in what they were saying? Or you know, it might have just been banter between them. We don't know. 
That is the story on how Super Paul Mullin signed for Wrexham Football Club. And obviously, since he has signed last summer, he's proved to be an absolutely incredible signing. One of the best strikers we have seen in a Wrexham shirt. 33 goals in 44 league games. He's a cheat code to have in this league. He's incredible. What a striker he is. And he cemented himself as a real fan's favourite. I think he will go down as a club legend. It's hard to do that in a season, but I think Mullen is going to go down as a club legend. Let me do know what you think of the two latest episodes of the Welcome to Wrexham documentary. I think, in my opinion, it just keeps getting better over the course of the episodes and I think it will just continue to get better the more we see into the season because we're obviously in pre-season yet. The season hasn't even started and I would give it a solid 9 out of 10, the documentary. So, yeah, that's really good to see. And Make sure to get down there. If there's anyone watching that isn't subscribed, go down there, subscribe for match day vlogs. Just in general, Wrexham FC content I'm going to be bringing out as much as I can over the next few months so you do not want to miss it so get down there like I said subscribe put the bell notification on like the video and yeah I'll see you in the next one take care